Hello everyone, back to the spring 2019 forecast verification from GazWithInsight.com. So at the end of February, we released the GazWithInsight.com spring forecast. We went for a milder than, and uh, drier than average spring uh, ahead. We're going to go through the temperature and precipitation anomaly and see how the forecast did for the spring of 2019 very shortly. Uh, just say that coming up later on today, we'll have your regular week 10 day uh, video update as always at uh, Gazworthies. So, as I say, at the end of February, we released the spring 2019 forecast. It's a very much a thrown together sort of forecast because um, we uh, were short on updates. We always take December off, so the season of updates for spring. The spring forecast was a little bit shorter than all of the uh, other um, seasons anyway, because we take December off to have a bit of a break after the winter updates, if you see what I mean. So we lost December deliberately, but then we also lost most of January due to the shutdown in America, the shutdown of the government. So it wasn't able to bring you the reanalysis charts for most of uh, January, which meant all we was left with really was uh, February for spring updates. So we was very, very short on uh, our updates for the spring this year. Nevertheless, we did just about manage to bring a forecast together. And uh, we forecast that we thought the spring of 2019 was likely to be a warmer and also drier than average season. We thought temperature anomalies would probably be around a degree above average, and it would be another fairly significantly dry season through uh, most parts of the country. So let's see how we did. Uh, and this is the uh, temperature anomaly for the spring of 2019, set against 81 to 2010 from the uh, Climate Summaries page at uh, UK Met. And you see, it was in fact a uh, milder and average spring across most parts of the country. Above average temperatures were recorded in many places. Not a big deviation, it wasn't an exceptionally mild season, but nevertheless, we do see quite widely across the country temperature anomalies around half degree to one degree above average with these uh, salmon pink colours covering most parts of the country. So above average temperatures uh, were uh, experience for the spring of 2019. Precipitation wise is how the anomaly uh, looks not quite so good on the precipitation side of the forecast because we do see that the northern and western parts of the country was actually a little bit above average with precipitation although down in the south and the southeast with the midlands into much of southern southeast England it was indeed another drier than average season. Also, interestingly, parts of uh, Western Scotland came away uh, with a drier than average season, whereas northern parts of Scotland and northeastern Scotland actually had a very wet season. So it looks like there's a lot of regional variation, actually, with this uh, season. And there was a wetter zone, kind of like from northeast Scotland down to southwest Scotland, although Western Scotland itself was driving average, driving average. Wetter zone from sort of northeast Scotland down to southwest Scotland into Northern Ireland, and then through northwestern England into north and uh, mid Wales. South Wales, southwest England, much of central southern England, the Midlands, East Anglia, kind of like up the east coast, up towards northeast England, uh, those areas coming away with a drier than average anomaly. Overall, I'm quite pleased with the way the forecast went. I have to say, for a uh, for a um, forecast that was very thrown together, I don't think we did a bad job. I think we picked up the broad trains uh, throughout throughout the spring. Uh, really, uh, we did get it a little bit wrong on the month by month breakdowns. So the the months March, April, May didn't quite pan out as we expected. But I think the overall trends for the season, we picked those out, warmer, drier, generally, although, as we can see, it was a little bit wetter for northern and western parts of the country. Sunshine-wise, it was also a very sunny spring, away from Northern Ireland, where it was a dull spring. But for you, most of the rest of the country, particularly for eastern parts of England, uh, we see above average uh, sunshine. So, as a season, I don't think the spring was too bad at all, uh, really. It was warmer than average, it was sunnier than average. It was a little bit wetter than average for the northwest, but for the south and the east, it was a drier than average um, season. So, if you're in the east, I think you can say you did have quite a nice spring. Elsewhere, it was a little bit more mixed, but uh, overall, I think 
reasonably decent, at least until May, when things started to get a little bit cooler and a little bit more unsettled. Uh, well, that closes the door on the uh, spring forecast, most definitely. We'll head on truly shut uh, with that. And overall, I think the spring forecast went uh, OK. I'm quite happy with it. It's wasn't perfect. No long-range forecast ever will be perfect. But I think it's certainly one of the better forecasts that we've done. And particularly so as uh, uh, as it was a thrown-together forecast. I'm going to have to re-emphasize that. We was very short on updates uh, for the spring. So um, the fact that we got it there or thereabouts, certainly in terms of the broad train of being warmer and reasonably dry for eastern parts of the country, I think... Overall, it wasn't too bad at all, considering we were short on updates. But that closes the door on the spring forecast. So, uh, of course, the summer forecast has now been released. Um, and we'll verify that when we get to the end of uh, the summer. Autumn updates have begun. So we never saw it, Gazzo. It's the long-range bandwagon carries on rolling along. And... Uh, when we get to the end of these um, seasonal forecasts, it's very important that we go back and verify them, good or bad. Uh, we always give you an honest appraisal at uh, Gazwell Meads. So, I just hope you appreciate that. Right, well, that's it for the spring uh, forecast. That closes the door on that. Uh, later on today, we'll have your week's 10-day video update. So, um, come back for that later. But uh, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.